question here about where's the next Jumanji movie? Check it out. Hey guys, just wondering if you think the third Jumanji movie will ever actually happen. I really, really liked the first two. I was hoping for a third one, but we haven't heard anything since 2019 when the second one came out. Just want to hear your thoughts. Thanks. Bring on the selfie. All right. Thanks a lot for calling that in. And yeah, Jumanji, listen, the first, the first, the first Dwayne Johnson Jumanji movie, because I guess technically speaking, the first Dwayne Johnson Jumanji movie technically is Jumanji 2. But for, for the sake of our discussions here, when I say the first Jumanji movie, I'm referring to the first Dwayne The Rock Johnson one, okay? So that first one came out and defied expectations. Not even Dwayne The Rock Johnson's parents would ever think, or family, or cousins, blonde or otherwise, <laughs> sorry, it's an inside joke, um, would have ever believed or dreamed that that movie, Welcome to the Jungle, would have flirted with being a billion dollar film. It fell just short of being a billion dollar film. It was 960 something million dollars at the box office. Nobody saw that coming. Then he got into the second one and it didn't do quite as well, but it next level was still a massive hit making $801 million. I didn't like the second one as much as I loved the first one, but it's still a good time. I, I enjoyed it. I really, the Danny DeVito part, I mean, that, that whole addition to it, I thought was great. So there was that. So it seemed like a no brainer that they would instantly ro roll into a third chapter of the Dwayne, the rock Johnson part fairly quickly, but they have not. Now, when you say that there hasn't been really any word of it since 2019, that's not true. There's actually been a lot of information, but the information has been changing a little bit. For example, Dwayne Johnson's business partner and partner and producer of most of his movies, Hiram Garcia, who was a producer on the other Jumanji movies. A little while ago, he was interviewed and he said this about another Jumanji movie. He said, Jumanji is definitely going to happen. Obviously, Jake Kazin, who's directing the other ones, is directing Red One, an upcoming prime video holiday movie that Dwayne Johnson's doing with Chris Evans. So right now he's working on that. But we have a ton of Jumanji conversations. We actually have a great take on what we're going to do for the next movie. So I know in talking with Jake, once he comes clear of Red One, that's going to be his next priority for him. And that's something we definitely want to make. Okay, so here's Hiram Garcia uh, a short time ago saying absolutely, definitely happening. Well, th then it starts to change a little bit because just a couple of weeks ago, Kevin Hart was being interviewed on a red carpet somewhere and he was asked directly about Juman the next Jumanji movie and he didn't sound nearly as definitive. He said this, he said, we're going to have to do it soon. I talked to him, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. I talked to Dwayne the day before yesterday. We're talking about, of course, another Jumanji. That's been a conversation. Okay. So, I mean, it still sounds okay. Like they're maybe planning on it, but it didn't sound as definitive as Hiram Garcia. Now, that was a couple of weeks ago. Now we fast forward to just the other day where one of the cast members of the Jumanji movies, Madison Eisman, uh, who, of course, plays one of the real-life people who becomes the Avatar, the Avatar of the hot girl. She was asked, hey, are you guys, are you getting ready to, to do another Jumanji? And she said this. I've heard nothing. <laughs> if you hear anything, let me know. And Sony's on the line. Hey, guys, I mean, it's definitely, it would be a dream. That franchise changed my life, and I miss it dearly and everyone who was a part of it. And it's one of the greatest things that's ever happened to me. Oh. It's due to, to watch it. It's due to be watched again. I think it's time. I would love to do another one any day. They can call me. Now, just because one of the cast members is not in the loop about the franchise direction, that doesn't mean that there's not any movement happening on the franchise. Let's be clear about that. But it is just kind of funny you know, hearing that we've gone from a while ago, Hiram Garcia, absolutely, definitely happening, to Kevin Hart a few weeks ago, we're talking about it, we're having conversations, to one of the other cast members saying, I heard nothing. <laughs> I mean, if they want to give me a call, give me a call. I'd love to do it. Anyway, Chris, listen, you have been a voice actor in animation, video games, certainly a part of franchise and stuff like that mm -hmm. before. How much in the loop, like when you hear Madison saying, I haven't even heard a damn thing, 
Is that something that we should really worry about? Or is it pretty common practice that, yeah, they might be moving forward on a franchise and she may be a part of it, but it's not unusual that she wouldn't have heard about it? Like, what's your experience been in something like that? It's pretty common to be out of the loop. Well, especially let's like call a spade a spade. I am at a very different level than these actors, too. Right. Where I am not a household name. So there are often times, too, where I'll be, a, you know, a regular in a game and then down the line because of, you know, maybe they don't want to use SAG actors at this point. Maybe something else is going on. Maybe the rate that my agent is negotiating isn't worth it for them anymore. They'll go, <laughs> oh, and now this person is this person in this. And I go, that was my character. Aw, but that sucks. So sometimes this happens. Um, and obviously, Madison, she is doing other work right now, too. Yep. I would love for her to be back in this franchise because I think she's so great at it. But she's in the I Know What You Did Last Summer series. She's going to be an American Horror Story as well. Um, Kevin Hart, I think to his point of we got to do it soon. You know, I don't know how long Kevin wants to be doing action sequences himself or having people <laughs> drop on him, <laughs> you know. Um, so, and I think you have to, in this franchise too, I know earlier I said we can't rush excellence. I think with this uh, franchise, you do have to strike a bit while the iron's hot, since these are characters in a game that they're portraying. There should be, you know, an agelessness to them. So you do have kind of a finite timeline when it comes to these Jumanji films of, okay, well, Karen has to look somewhat similar. Dwayne has to look somewhat similar, you know? So you have to kind of do this while they're all still in their prime, so to speak. So I do think we have to keep that in uh, in the conversation here. But as far as an actor being out of the loop, it's, it's pretty common that we're the last to know about stuff. <laughs> All right, guys. So the bottom line is that there's been a lot of talk about a new Jumanji movie. The producer saying definitely, an actor saying we're talking about it, another actor saying I've never heard a thing. But hey, it does sound like it's at least still on the drawing board. Whatever you guys think about this, jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. We want to take a second to thank a sponsor of this video, Mint Mobile. If saving more and spending less is one of your top goals for 2023, why are you still paying insane amounts of money every month for your phone bill? Switching to Mint Mobile is the easiest way to save this year. As the first company to sell premium wireless service online only, Mint Mobile lets you order from home and save a ton with phone plans starting at just 15 bucks a month. You guys know I made the switch over to Mint Mobile a while ago. The process couldn't have been easier and I can't believe that I am spending less than a third of what I was spending on one of the other major carriers before. By going online only and eliminating the traditional costs of retail, Mint Mobile passes the significant savings on to you. All plans come with unlimited talk, text, and high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and switch easily in minutes with eSIM. To get your new wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month and get the plan shipped to your door free, go to mintmobile.com slash campia that's mintmobile.com slash campia cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash campia